General Kenobi. So yeah, I'm going. Hey guys, I'm gonna play the Fire Emblem Three Hopes demo today. I hope you enjoy. I know no space cam today because I don't really feel like putting it on today. And yeah, let's do this, Chez. Get it? The other protagonist is named Chez. So, how's your past few days been, everyone? I got addicted to an idol game again. And this one is like, it says, it's gonna take like a week to finish. Okay, I know what save is. But yeah, I, no more idle games after that, I promise. classic one. Okay, what play style? Hi, Josh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think flow and steady. Yeah, I plan on enjoying this. Okay, it's Saros. He's gonna murder everyone. I can't wait to kill everyone as Saros. Yeah, I did slow and steady as well, let's see. The dragon! It's another dragon. Holy crap, it's flame! I guess- Bloodshed. Will it never come to an end? I guess she really isn't the same age as the other youths. No, roughly the same age as the other youths. Okay, magic people. Pharaoh's killing more people. Dragon person. Not just any dragon person! It's frickin' Santa! I mean, what if, what if, like, you get to, to unlock them? Um, index, yeah. What if you get to, like, unlock them as, like, actual characters? I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Uh, finally. Come on, sunshine. Up and at him. Honestly, I'm gonna mix mix it up a bit. I'm playing as Milshez! Get up already! Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? <sighs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Yes, I'm going with Roman this time, because Roman Turkey. Looks like there's hope for you yet. Apologies. 
Ellie's friend. I'm all right. Is the battle at hand? Of course it is. Why else would I be standing here? You heard who we're up against, yeah? Gerald's mercenaries. Oh no. It's gonna be one hell of a fight if true, especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. Did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... I... By the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Why didn't I choose Allie for my name? Well, you're about to find out! Yep. Allie's the Ashen yeah, Demon. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. It kind of stinks that I can't choose, like, the outfit I always picked, which was, like, the school outfit. And it, they had, she has to be in the default. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked Burling you from Holland? that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. <coughs> Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon. I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Good luck, friend. Double to you. All right, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Okay. Let's move out. See what you're made of. Yes, I know. Yes, that's that. I mean, warrior games aren't very hard, so that is, isn't much, that really isn't much saying, but I, I am very good at them. Green tonic will, yeah, make your HP better. I'll take out the stronghold over this way, yeah? You get the one over there. Can't My favorite. This up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. Yes, drown yourselves in me. I am the Endless Abyss. 
I'm sorry. I, I just really like killing all the little guys. Yeah, my favorite warrior game I've, I've played is the original Hyrule War Warriors. Mostly because there's oh, so much shit to do in that game. I, I don't think I have 100% of it, but... But it's mostly because it's Fire Emblem Warriors. Yeah, base captain. It's right there, plain and simple. You can believe it. You, you're seeing it, right? You know what? So yeah, About that is actually a thing that happened. Up, but they still don't stand a chance against Berlin's mercenaries. <laughs> Ali, isn't the Ashen Demon? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. Hi, Mom. This will be the end of the action team. No one can beat the captain. What? Captain? They took out Lasley like she was nothing. Rest in peace, Lasley. I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid. It was so just so. Just, it, it was just so like. We have to reach her before it's too late. That was, it was quite... There's so many of them. Only one thing to do about that. Like, yeah, it, it just says, Lasley has died. It's kind of like that, um, th that, like, Three Houses meme video, which is like, all enemies die from Edelgard's cooking. I'm going to chat. Yes, that is, <laughs> that's where that's from. And like the first one is where you're a fucking idiot. Just when my dream was 
finally in sight. You monster. Rest in peace, Captain Gurling. The captain's dead. What are we gonna do now? And there she is, ready to kill you. Stand down or die. I'm not standing down. And we're gonna avenge the captain. I'm Yeah. Why am I so scared? It's just one murder. Run! Why you can Rest in peace, get this can't be happening. Yeah, she's they're all just sweeping the floor, huh? of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. Hegemon Roman? Where did you get that power? No idea. But it's just what I need to bring you down. You're done! Witness my true power! We're here to help! Interesting. You're fighting like an entirely different person. But this fight is over. Hey, wait. Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Hey, we're not done here. <clears throat> wait, why am I so tired?
Ah, yes, my favorite place. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Huh? It did. Where am I? Love the new name, by the way. Oh, good. You're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Jack! Who are you? Ha! Now that is a tricky question. For the moment, why don't you call me Arval? Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? Oh, <laughs> oh, my. That's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. I love her. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... Yeah, uh... No, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. I don't understand. I'm already up and about. Ah, perhaps here you are, but not in reality, where it counts. <laughs> your cluelessness is actually quite charming. I think you're starting to grow on me. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. I'm pretty sure Arval is a girl. And what should that be? But yeah, Arval looks quite androgynous. Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. Then I'll get stronger. The man I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more yeah. sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? I mean... I mean, until we get... Like, I was looking on a TV trope page, and they also use they, them pronouns for Arval. Hello, everyone! Welcome to the Three Hopes the gold's stream. the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Hardings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Prologue. Chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. The to the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the holy kingdom of Fargus ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee, rules the I really lines. enjoy it. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. 
Keyword relative. Nestled between them is Garrig Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Seros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Hey, wake up! Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. <laughs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. <laughs> the three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. I love you. <sighs> Ignoring me, hmm? I'll take that to me and I touched a nerve. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Mm -hmm. They do. Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmast. <laughs> we got it on Come Imperial on. authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? Therefore, I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Don't worry about payment. You'll receive plenty of coin if we survive that. Let's do this. Now, Fluval, unique ability, action support, and tactical. Oh, 
on resources. That's my favorite part of Warriors game. Just collecting all the materials and resources and leveling up my character. It's Costas. The guy from the Costas. Or in other words, kill every last one of them. Suppose my turn has arrived. I've awaited this moment. I won't allow anyone to stop me. You or me? Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. They're protagonists. What's wrong with you? They're just a bunch of press. Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already. Is it clawed time? I think it's clawed time. Now it's clawed time. No problem. Always stand clawed. He's the best. Problem, I got it. I'm a master of strategy, but I'm not really used to being on the front lines. There is shot as usual. Hey, got lucky there. Well, lucky for me, I guess. But not so much for you. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting, and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Okay, let's use some... Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Here I go. No mistakes. Learn who they're up against. Take a breather. Secured. Strategy, 
There are you all the pieces. Do not to worry over you too much, but do make sure to heal if you're hurt. effort to rush our position. I shall take the lead. No problem. I got it. Let's see how this goes. Don't Four let's still cost them. those bandits. Quickly now. So, which one of you wants to go down first? Do you feel that power? So maybe you can channel it like you did in the other battle. The food's the magic in um, Hyrule Warriors. I'm afraid we must spare no mercy for him. I won't let myself stop here. Got to keep aiming higher. <laughs> yes, I got it from you, Larry. It is. You're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathen, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude von Regan. Grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. 
Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Hey, I only fought well because I had such fine companions by my side. There may be some truth to that. I can't shake the feeling that we were destined to meet somehow. Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Well, I just did, okay? Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. Say, while I have you here, do you know where I can find Remire Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Remire might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. <sighs> Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello before there, what? house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals. So what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes, and those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire Village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action, not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But, of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, no, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There is a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then, but, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name is spread all over Fodland by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. I love him. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Aloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. I assume you are familiar with the offers of the Academy on the grounds of Garigmoth Monastery, yes? If I'm honest. The three young people you assisted earlier are the heads of the Academy's three houses. But you'll find other students, teachers, and even members of the Knights of Seros here at this camp. I fear you. You caught us in the middle of an annual outdoor activity carried out at the beginning of the Academy That's school concerning. year. But the situation became quite the mess when that band of brigands attacked us. I wish we could chat at length, but it seems that the three class heads wish to speak with you. What say you? Alas, I cannot keep you all to myself. This is a great opportunity for you to bond with your rescuees.
Thanks. Hey, friend. Appreciate what you did back there. We just have been in a world of hurt without you. Hmm. Oh, and regarding comp compensation, Aloise told me not to pay you personally. I guess they want to handle it as a thing. Sorry about that. Hmm. Hey, as long as I get paid, I don't care who's handing over the coin. <laughs> You're definitely a mercenary, all right. Speaking of... Speaking of which, have you talked with the others here at camp? How's that? I can tell you a little about students in my Golden Deer house. Who, me? I'm more curious about you, personally. If you don't have anything better to do, I'd be glad to have you join us at Garrett Mock. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. Yeah, no. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed Yes, I, I every will be doing it. Yeah. Hilda's the only daughter of Duke Gunn. I plan on it. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up. Which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. He's a pretty friendly guy. Though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. Muscle madness! He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier, and she nearly took my head off. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. Maybe his parents are making him do it. Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. Honestly, before actually playing this game, I'm like, no, I'm just, this is just a one-time thing. I'm never doing this again. But actually playing this game, I'm definitely going to do he this again. He only wants to be a mercenary. Yeah, I'm, you two but, would yeah, to talk about. I'm, I'm buying it. You're both pretty I'm buying this too. game. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. Oh hey. Oh, hey. oh, hey! Are you that mercenary that helped Claude out of that little jam? Yeah. I heard you're super strong, so I was kind of picturing you as one of those huge bodybuilders or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to disappoint. Just your average guy. Aww. Too average, you asked me. Talk about a letdown! <laughs> oh, come on, just going. Joking. You're pretty easy to talk to, so I couldn't help myself. Thanks. Anyway, thanks for helping Claude out. Oh, hey. hey, aren't you that merc that helped out Claude and the others? So. I'm actually gonna become a mercenary myself. That's why I enrolled at the Officers Academy, because I wanted to bang Gerald. Nah. You sure? Are you sure about that? This is not a war game, easy. Only got to, into it because I had no other choice. Hmm. I know the risks and accept them. I'll do it. I'm, I'm going to... Typo! Typo! The game has a typo! I'm going to work myself to the bone so I can be just as strong as a captain someday. Greetings. Aloise told me all about what happened. Thank you for assisting the class heads. Had anything happened to the students, we all paid it hearty and worse. By the way. It reminds me of the previous time when a student who returned home from the academy. Hmm, thanks for the loss. Thanks for the follow, PK Lost. I hope I hope you are enjoying the stream. Turn home to Academy, went missing and oh, forgive me, I'm rambling. Ah, it is you. Oh, you must be the famed mercenary of the woods who stepped in unbidden to aid Claude. 
As a noble representative of the Lester Alliance, I must offer you my thanks. Mm. Whatever you say, pal. See you around. If I may. Wait just a moment. If you are indeed a mercenary, then you should hope to gain influence with me. After all, I am Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. <laughs> yes, I'm giving Lawrence a, a British accent. I don't care. Um, uh, um, hello. You're that mercenaries I wrote talk about. Roman, was it? <laughs> you know an attempt to curry favor at the children of nobility and persist in nefarious aim. Are you? Mm. Nah, just helping out some strangers. Still. It's always good for a merc to have folks like that in its debt. Hmm. I see. And do you think our mercenary friend is someone worthy of trust, Marianne? Um, what? Me? I, uh... I'm busy. Well, either way, we need to be going. We're busy. Hmm. Hey, you're a new face. Are you a student from one of the other houses? Hmm. You must be the mercenary we've been hearing so much about. What was your name again? Right on. Yeah, I'm, I'm Roman. Good to meet you. What house are you guys with? No problem. We're in Claude's house, the Golden Deer. But we're just regular old common folk. Due to the nature of Lester, we have more students from the commoner class than other houses. Please? I imagine you're a commoner yourself. What, with being a mercenary and all? Are you nuts? Oh. Hey, Linhart, wake up! Look, I get that you're tired, but we're leaving at the crack of dawn, remember? Hmm. The the bandit attack stole my chance for sleep, so I noticed. Uh, who, who might you be? Hey. hey! Hey there, name's Roman. I'm a merc who's just passing through the area. Got caught up fighting those bandits earlier, which is how I ended up here. What? Wait, so you're the one who took out their boss? You were amazing! I should have given chase and knocked him around a bit myself, but... Oh well. Look who has arrived. Well, well. The mercenary who cut down the leaders of thieves. I must say, that was quite the capable capable display you put on back there. <laughs> I am Ferdinand von Eyre, the legitimate scion of the Eyre family, the foremost house of the Empire. Huh? Never heard of you. It cannot be. My stars! You have truly never heard of House Ire? I should think even a base cell sword just as yourself would have a passing familiarity. I am on it. Clearly, I must work harder as a beacon to the common folk, so they might cry the name of my family from one end of the continent to the other. Please listen. Listen. Hello, I am called Petra. I am finding you to be quite fascinating. Right on. Hey there, I'm Rowan. Uh, I'm technically a mercenary, though I guess right now I'm kind of just a drifter. That has much I do not have understanding. Where are you drifting to? Yeah. Uh, through the know. world, you know, just sort of kicking around with no real end goal. Yeah, Petra's the best. Thank you. Ah, oh, there you are. Thank you for your assistance in the previous battle. I'd like to discuss your future, if you have a moment. If you find yourself with no place to go after we accomplish our objective, I'm hoping we might hire you on with the Empire. What do you think? I can promise you'll be handsomely played, including the work you did today. So, what say you? Nah. I'm not usually hired into service by people quite so high up the food chain. I have special attention. <laughs> I value your talent now that I've had the ability to see it firsthand. On another note. By the by, have you spoken with the others here in the camp? If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit about students in my own house, the Black Eagles. Well, you're certainly not timid. You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial Throne, yes? Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble, but lack territory of their own. Hubert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. Hubert of House Hubert. That's Dorothea Arnott. 
She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous Imperial Opera Company. Or she was, at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officer's Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. Welcome, new viewers, to That's door um, my Three Hopes stream. Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. Have you spoken with Ferdinand? He's... One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory yes. instead of Love coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. Kaspar is the second-born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the Academy to make his own way. War and fighting are his sole pursuits, so I bet the two of you will get along just fine. Best Petra girl. isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Bridget, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. Just like me. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. so many people today that I never want to look at a bandage again. Oh, and what do we have here? Don't we? Don't say. Let me guess. Got it. You are a brave vagabond knight who appeared to boldly protect me from those brigands earlier. Right on. Oh yeah, that's me all right. Oh, my name's Roman, by the way. Wink. Oh. You're very kind to go along with my little jape. Well, hi. Well then, I am Manduela, a professor at the Officers Academy, a doctor, and also a songstress of a world-renowned opera company. So, I have worked myself to the very bone today, but right now I'm merely a sad and lonesome woman. Quite. I am Hanuman, a professor at the Officers Academy. I heard tale of your recent exploits and wish to express my thanks. Oh, and on another matter, do you possess a crust? Let's see. I know practically nothing about crests, but I'm pretty sure I'd know if I had one. Hmm. Truly, you have never investigated the subject. People are not always aware of the power of their own crest, you know. All in all. Listen well now. Crests are a power that dwells in the blood, and they are passed down through the generation from parent to child. Those with crests may excel at magic, or perhaps have the ability to weird powerful weapons known as heroes' relics. Hmm. If you were to come to my residence at the monastery, I could take the time to conduct a full investigation if you'd like. Hey there. Oh, oh, you must be that mercenary I've been hearing about. I'm Ash, and I'm a student at Garrick Monk's Officer's Academy. Do you know about the Academy? See, there are three houses, each based on where a person is from. Hmm. Oh, I've heard of it, alright. One of my employers a little ways back couldn't shut up about how he'd gone to that place. Right. I can see that. Lots of lots of influential nobles and royals from all over the study at the academy. I actually find it pretty daunting to always be surrounded by the rich and powerful. Mm. It's a lot easier to talk to someone like you. Uh, hello. Hello. Hey, you must be the Mercy Eighty to told us about. I'm Dorothea. Heard about the Oxford Academy, right? Well, pretty much all of this year's students from the Black Eagle House are here at this moment. Well, except for Bernadetta, which is sadly typical. She stayed behind because she was terrified of the idea that we might be attacked in the woods. Can't 
believe she ended up being right. <laughs> oh, sorry, didn't mean to ramble. Has anyone ever told you you're surprisingly easy to talk to? Hmm. Oh, yes, you are the mercenary we happened across. My thanks. Well, I harbor some reservations about you. The, for the fact that you assisted... The fact remains that you assisted Lady Edelgard, and for that I offer my gratitude. Hmm. Happy to help. Although I wouldn't mind some details about that whole reservations part. No. My thoughts are mine alone. You need not concern yourself with... My thoughts are mine alone. You need not concern yourself with the matter. I need to take a quick break. I'll be back. I need to fill up my water bottle. I'm back, everyone. Wait just one second. Okay, that's on, so we can get back to the game. Guess who's back? Back again. Allie's back. Tell a friend. What did you need? Can't believe they told me I'm on, I'm to go on a trip. It'll be fun, they said. Nothing ever happens. Then BAM! Disaster and danger everywhere. I was gonna die out there. I was saying, swinging my spear on anything that got within range, but then some girl from the officer's academy showed up and led me to safety. I tell you, kids these days are graceful and strong. Nothing like the useful punks in my, from my day. I mean, if somebody says kids these days, you'd expect that they'd be saying the reverse. Hello, friend. You're the one that have to meet you, right? Well, we all owe you for that, so if you need a meal, it's on me. I appreciate it. I'm grateful as well. I offer my thanks with a meal, too, but I heard that you'll be leaving us shortly. I know Ingrid doesn't talk like that in game, but I thought it would be funny to give her a Karen voice because we all know Ingrid is canonically racist. And... Yes, I did take some liberties with some voices. Like, you know, I gave Lawrence a British accent because he looks like he has a British accent. And I make Ingrid sound like a Karen. Can we speak a moment? Oh, and I, I don't believe I got your name. 
Name's Roman. Keep it in mind in case you ever need a heavy hitter. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call one in our little one two two two. <laughs> Levine joke, okay? And you're asking me, Allie, you live in New Jersey. Why are you making jokes about a Rhode Island lawyer? Canonically a Karen? Like, I mean, if you look at her character bio in Three Houses, and this is actually in, in the game, her dislikes say, the people of Dusker. Like, I know it's because the whole her fiance died and the tragedy of Dusker thing. But it's just funny to, to make characterize Ingrid as a racist. Like, I know her character isn't canonically racist, but it's funny. And as for Rob Levine... He's a very infamous Rhode Island lawyer who... Well, he does videos like this. So yeah, that's my link sharing for today. Do just that, and while it's unfortunate we're parting ways here, I suspect we may have a chance to meet again in the future. Not good. It's a shame we don't have the time to get to know each other a little better, though. Oh. Oh. My thanks. You assisted His Highness and have my gratitude. I will see that this debt repaid. Right on. In that case, you can pay me back with a round of sparring. See what you're made of. <laughs> As you wish. I Be see. honest, I like to treat you to a meal. We lack the time. Gotta love to do. Huh, it's you. You're the new Merc, right? Roman? Of course, says you had some skill. You'll have to give me a demonstration before we head out. Hmm. Sorry, the boar? <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's not your problem. Really, that wasn't really Felixy, a Felixy voice. Don't worry, it's not your problem. Oh, hey, uh. oh, you're that mercenary. It's great to meet you. I'm Annette, and this is my best friend Mercedes. Hello there. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Have you already spoken with the others? Mm. Most of them, yeah. We've got a real case of ca cast of characters here. The thing is. Da do 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 dust it storm. Yes, we gotta gotta stand to do. And always remember, kids, please, for the love of so of the goddess, do not eat the weeds. Back to your scheduled programming. Well, this is someone to go get her. That's right. We haven't even talked to everyone yet. That's what because we only started at the officer's academy. You probably know them better than we do. Oh, it's you. Oh. You have my thanks. Let me begin by first conveying my gratitude to you, Roman. We are in your debt. Speaking of Also, which... I examined the map earlier, and the village where you are headed seems to be a little more to the east. You're kidding. Wait, east? Really? I could have sworn it was west. East? I thought you said west! <laughs> Well, thanks for the tip. I nearly got myself lost in the woods all over again. No. Don't be hard on yourself. This forest likes the markers to easily find one's bearings. It's little wonder you flounder with no one to guide you. In any case, you should be able to reach the village with no trouble by merely walking toward the dawn sun. By the way. You'll be staying until sunrise, yes? I hope you'll take the opportunity to converse with the others here. Of course, now that I've sprung the idea on you so suddenly, you'll likely find yourself at a loss as whom you ought to speak to. How about this? On that note, I would be more than happy to give you an introduction to any Blue Lion house students. Your interest flatters me, but I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. 
Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when next we speak. But, uh, you're leaving for that village soon, aren't you? Dadu hails from the land of Dusk. Perhaps you've heard of it. He tends to keep to himself, but he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my vassal. Speak to him. He's Listen gay why. for Dadu. Dadu He's hails gay from for Dadu. Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit and even sharper tongue. But he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. Of course you say that, he you bore. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. I only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. I only fit from In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat him up, eat him up, eat him up. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only a little. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That may be putting it lightly, in fact. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea, and she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his indiscretions. Looks like Dawn's almost here. It's you! We've held these kinds of outdoor activities countless times. Never seen anything like this happen. Plus, we've got three high ranking noble children. Here, so Scar was more than double that of a usual year. You'd think they were nearly killed by some pack of base brigands. It's a real mess, make no mistake. Now I have to find a way to explain it all to Lady Rhea. Hey! I can't believe how quickly those thugs set upon us. Class heads ran off, people were shouting orders. Oh, but it was the right mess. Say, who are you anyway? You, I don't remember. Hey, you're one of the red brigands, aren't you? Someone, anyone, help! Well met. Do you know about the three houses at the Alpha Academy? Only well, yes, because you seem a little bit dense. No offense. Anyway, you've got the Black Eagle House, which is home to folks from the Adrestian Empire. Then there's your Blue Lion House, which is made up from individuals from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. What are your thoughts? And finally, there's a Golden Deer House, which has people from the Lester Alliance. Oh, One last person to talk to. How may I help you? Thank you for cooperating with the house heads of the three houses. Seems like the class heads served as decoys throughout most of the thieves for finding an opportunity to play. Thanks to that, the other managed to hold fast with all the light injuries. Still, it would have been tragic if any of the heads been, been seriously injured or worse. I'm just grateful for all of your help. Ah, oh, Roman, have you spoken with the house? 
Alice leaders yet? That's what? You're leaving? But that won't do! If I Actually, might... I was hoping if I could ask something of you. Would you hear me out? My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garrick Mock Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they crossed swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. Yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softie. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. I guess I'm not opposed to helping out a little more. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Ouch. Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply <laughs> too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Uh, told you how dashing you are in that armor. Not just any man could pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Monk. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this, considering you're only here because of us, but... Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Actually, I see this is just another chance to better myself. You are more gracious than I. But, as I see you've made peace with it, I will leave the matter be. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? 
It's a... It's a 9.5. I'm enjoying it so far. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble. And I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. It seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me, every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. I'm probably gonna do Golden Dare. Prologue. Three houses. So that's what I did when I originally played? Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Garrig Mark's Officers mm -hmm. Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Garrig Mach. They are all ace. I don't care what you say. They are all ace. Every single one of them are ace. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of? I Greetings. don't care what you say. My name is They're Rhea, all ace. And I am the Archbishop of the Church of Salos. Yes, Thank she has his ace as well. Of my heart for rescuing our students. It was nothing. You take a job, you make sure it gets done. That's what a mercenary does. I see you do not lack for confidence. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. Yes, even Sylvain is what ace. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the Monica is ace. At the monastery, yes. But... She is homo romantic if that gives you any solace. What? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. If we don't accept, there's no game. I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. <laughs> True. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. So yeah, I guess I'm Edelgard now. As well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. All right, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may. Permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble-born, while others spring <laughs> from more humble roots. Everyone loves Edelgard. All are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof. So they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. 
Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Lester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. I'm picking Golden Deer. So you wish to join Claude's Golden Deer. Are you certain? Hell yeah, I'm certain. Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. <laughs> nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me, or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. <laughs> Just for that, you get double the homework. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. Sorry, but do I have this right? This person just enrolled at the Academy and now they have become a member of our house? Yeah, that's pretty much the deal. Right, Professor Yuritsa? Yes. I love how you can bump into someone in the woods one night and suddenly you're living under the same roof the next. I knew we had a thing. Anyway, welcome to the Golden Deer House, where the only rule is make your own rules. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Or am I? The point is, you're one of us now. And it's very good to have you here. Well, the term's only just started. The church must really like you if they're letting you join partway through. You have to be pretty skilled to get that kind of treatment. Well, I believe it. I mean, how many people our age can cut it as full-fledged mercenaries? I definitely see why the church was interested. Can't wait to train together. And I can't wait to eat together. Or work out. You want to go work out? Seriously, you need to put some muscles on that coat rack you call a body. Bulk up, like me. Hmm, I don't think these strange shirt buttons look is for everybody. <laughs> Any more meat on those bones, and our friend here would be downright scary. Our new friend's build is perfect as is. Wouldn't you agree, Marianne? Oh, well, I don't... Uh... Okay, okay, everyone just loosen up. 
And hey, it's not like we haven't met already. So just sit back and make yourself at home. I would not take after Claude if I were you, new blood. Honestly, if you wish your time here to be fruitful, you would do well to follow my lead. Yep. Um, I think Professor Yuritsa wants to say something. Remember your mission? Every word, Professor. We are to crush what remains of the Iron King's thieves who attacked our camp. And with their boss Costas out of the picture, the runts that are left should be easy pickings. They can't be anything too special if we're getting them as homework. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Profe- Oh, he was <laughs> gone. Yeah, so that whole Yuritsa up and vanishing thing? Best to just get used to it. Well, I for one am excited to show off my skills by beating up on some bandits. I don't suppose I could be excused, or... <clears throat> We're all in this together, Marianne. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Besides, the newbie here already sent them packing once, so this should be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So long as I'm here, this will all work out just fine. Are you sure? <sighs> That's a relief. Anyway, we're all participating in this mission. Church's rules. I didn't make them, so the only thing we can do is work together. And we're gonna lean pretty heavy on our mercenary buddy here. Hope that's okay. Hey, lean all you want. Just make sure I get the credit at the end. Two weeks later. There you are, Doritza. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Bro's land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. Why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? I'm the highway man. So be it. We'll I can follow do anything a highway set. can. Right, of course. We'll follow. Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. Hey, uh, Professor Yuritsa, are you. And the way he goes. Guess we better get after him. We're still on a mission, after all. Pathetic. Slow down, Professor. You're making it hard for us to... Oh. Well, this is something. What happened to all these people? Dead by my hand. Are these the bandits we have been chasing? Ah, yes. Yuritsa are killing Who knows? everyone. It's not like you can tell they're bandits just from looking at them. Well, Professor, are they the villains we're searching for? Most likely. I caught them trying to escape to that fortress. Yes. Okay, does it have to be so dark and spooky? These people would have something with purple hair. It must be their hideout if they were trying to shelter there. Like, Golden Deer has Lawrence. Um, uh, Black Eagles have Dorothea, and to a lesser extent, 
Petra, but Petra's more like a fuchsia or magenta than a purple. And blue lines with half shells. Then let's quit standing around and seize the place. Might even find some nice gear in the process. I concur. As nobles, we would be remiss to let the people suffer at the hands of these rapscallions one minute longer. So you want to go in there? Yeah, you know what? I think I'll stay here and make sure the outside is safe. Right, Marianne? Yes, with she me? is. Of course. We don't belong in a dangerous place like that. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out the entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Yeah! Let me at them! I'll crack those guys like walnuts! It seems like opinions are split. But the thing is, we're still on a mission. And that means we leave the decision-making to Professor Yuritsa. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. But... There's right, no cause Bernadetta. for concern. I see no signs of life. There can't be more than a handful. Or none at all. I'd be happy with the none option. My grandpa told me empty forts have ghosts in them. Ghosts? I mean, uh... How childish. Everyone knows there's no such thing. We're hunting bandits, not banshees. So can we please just get this over with? Lysithia, don't tell me that you're... You know what? Probably better not to ask. <laughs> you folks must be pretty confident considering how much you're horsing around. Just be careful some brute doesn't take you by surprise. Yeah, we'll just need to watch each other's backs. Eyes peeled, everyone. Yes, they look great. Yes, I am. They'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. Performing my noble duty. Uh, it's not so To open the gate. <laughs> Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. I 
tried to stop them. No problem, I got it. Let's secure the interior. This place is bigger than I thought. Split up. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, this place is crawling Lord, bandits. Leave it to me. Chest. We can get it open if we have a key. Ugh. I was all ready to grab a nice all from that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. Take a breather. Yeah. Ooh. Did I hear the faint jingle of a key? Like Ash? Because we all know Ash is a former thief. Changing places. You won't let anyone get in the way of her breakfast. Wait, is that how it goes? You're such a beast at these games. I know. It's this one. I don't want a video. Okay, that's a line. You don't let anything stand in your way, especially when it comes to breakfast. Thank you, Joe Zija. You're an inspiration to us all. I like getting all the outposts out of the way. I will be referring to bases as outposts because Hyrule Warriors.
I got it. Nice, an accessory. Anything Hilda has, because she's literally weak to every everything. Literally has a disadvantage against her. No offense to her, I love her. Seizing them. Let's see how this hide it. So what's next? Search the basement. Something is amiss. I hate you, Lawrence. You helped out. You gotta keep aiming higher. And there's our lesbian friend. Are you here to rescue me? Hey, are you all right? Who did this to you? Actually, yeah. never mind. Let's get you out of here before any of that. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's Kranya? Isn't that Monica? Must take the girl and run. No problem, I got it.
They're targeting that academy student. Let's try this. I'd better back them up. We have to protect my turn. are, but they sure aren't some run-of-the-mill bandits. We must dispatch these villains post-haste and save that student. Yeah, done. Looks like the coast is clear. All right, folks, yeah. let's get a move on. Sorry I'm slowing you down. Well, this is still a little wobbly yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Leave it to me! Got a chance to give them the... Bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. Let's get the feet, Dad. the last one. that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. <laughs> it's her. So be it. places We catch. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting the S rank on this. What is that? Looks like some sort of giant beast. <laughs> Attack in force. 
You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. I am here to aid you. Now it is my turn. There is no- Oh, we can skip my turn, you know. I sense fear in this beast. Keep attacking. Now! None shall now, surpass let me. us bring it down. Gotta get all the materials. This is my turn. There is nothing. Uh, switching it up, huh? <laughs> Beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay! Talk about strange customers. Well, at least we beat her. That's what counts. Roman's the MVP. As usual. I won't let myself stop here. Hey, new power. All right. Not gonna forget this. This is suitable. <laughs> of course, all the time. We should be safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's fresh-faced golden deer, I presume? Nothing but the freshest. Also, is it just me, or are you wearing our uniform? 
And how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Do you go to the Officers Academy? She's one of last year's students. A Black Eagle. Which would make you our senior? But what were you doing here in a bandit fortress? Well, I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. Hmm. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that you mention it, some of the folks in that fortress weren't exactly dressed in the typical bandit fineries. What if we're dealing with a way savvier organization than we think, and the bandits just answer to them? Yeah, there was one real piece of work, Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention <sighs> this earlier? Why not, Monica? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Monica's the Flame Emperor! Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of yeah, it. Yeah, fuck Tomas. I could tell from his gait and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mock even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice Eddie but understands. to investigate. So basically, when my boyfriend was first playing Three Houses, I basically told him, was trying to suggest him that Monica, who showed up in Black Eagles, was the Flame Emperor. Well, of course, that didn't happen, but yeah. It was funny. But Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And 
here I thought I had a tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable. No, oh, but I do love that about you. And that's why Rhea has decided to take Tomas into custody. When he gets back, that is. Seems he's been away from the monastery for a bit. Custody? They ought to end his life on the spot. The Churl's enmity towards the church is plain for all to see. All the more reason to keep him alive and question him. You really think he's working alone? This all comes from that Monica girl we rescued, right? Still, I guess if Lady Rhea believes her. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? Yes, and he's always bent over backward to help me find whatever book Arvel, I'm searching for. without a doubt. He's a kind man. And the last person you'd ever expect to stab you in the back. Well, you won't make it too far as an evildoer if you can't pull the wool over people's eyes. I can't believe someone that nasty was working right here under our noses. But wait, what if the dining hall lady is a traitor too? <laughs> I'll never be able to ask for seconds again. As if anything would stop you from asking for seconds. Besides, what kind of villain sets their sights on someone's lunch? I think we can give the poor dining hall lady the benefit of the doubt, right? For now, we should assume everyone could be an enemy. There's no telling where their spies might be lurking. Well, unless you're proposing we stop eating altogether, we'd best muster a little faith. I'd really like to stop talking about the dining hall lady now, please. So, is it safe to assume Tomas hired the bandits that tried to kill us? No one has proven he was the mastermind behind it all, but there is no doubt he was involved. You're awfully quiet, Marianne. Is everything okay? Oh, it's just... I suppose I'm worried about what this all means. Hey, I understand. These walls were supposed to keep trouble out, but now everything feels very different. Wait, do you hear that outside? Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well, it sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. I think he's here. I'll be back. But let's do it together. Wait, what are we doing? Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> this doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. <laughs> I would like to interrupt the action to tell all of you guys that I have just pre-ordered Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. I, I, I got it on Amazon. So yeah, I'm getting it. You guys won. You guys won. You guys won. I am getting three. I'm getting a Fire Emblem game again. I I already ordered it. Uh, like literally during that cutscene, I I was on Amazon ordering the damn game so yeah you guys won uh, are you proud of yourselves uh, that i i got three hopes you guys better be <laughs> anyway back to our scheduled programming <sighs>
find him. Right. What he did was just like. Roman isn't a Fire Emblem Stan. He's a Fire Emblem character. Allie is a Fire Emblem Stan again. Prologue. The battle for the locket. Yes. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeships and flees, and not even the knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Though Claude is quite intrigued by the dark developments at his school, an oh my god, Eddie, you gave another Claude gift, so. but alliance. yeah, thank you again. You're the best. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where do these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shape-shifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. And who would that be? Hey there, got a second? Something wrong? There's no nice way to dance around this. Are you sure you don't know, Tomas? I already told you I don't. Okay, okay. It's not like I suspect you or anything. But it does make me wonder where you're from original. Who knows? Maybe there's some mysterious clan out there with shape-shifting powers. And maybe they banished you when you were little and you don't remember it. It's possible, right? Well, my early years are pretty hazy. But while it's not completely impossible, Hey, I'm sorry. You know what? Don't worry about it. I only ask because people here also see me as something of an outsider. Guess I got a little ahead of myself. Maybe I was just excited to meet a kindred spirit. You're an outsider? There you are, Claude. You must come quickly. We have an urgent message from House Goneril. Sure thing. Why don't you tag along? I'm not sure what House Goneril wants, but it can't be good. I can't believe the Almiran army is invading. And with the biggest army since Fodlin's locket was completed. My brother's preparing to intercept them, but he's outnumbered big time and needs all the help he can get. House Regan stands ready. But we can't expect my grandfather to lead an army, so I guess it falls to me. Hmm. I wish I knew what the other Alliance Lords will do, but there's no time to call a round table. I have no doubt my father has already leapt into action, though I will likely be the one who ends up on the front lines. House Ordelia is close, so I like to think we've already sent reinforcements. Sadly, I expect little help to come from my adoptive father. I'm sorry. That's fine. I actually have a different favor to ask Margrave Edmund. Flames got later. trapped in the McDonald's play place. I don't understand the reason for this sudden act of aggression. If this really is the biggest army since Fodlin's locket was completed, that's a century's worth of battles. Maybe the Almirans figured it's now or never since the Empire and Kingdom are wrapped up in their own problems. I mean, we're pretty much the only students left around here now. Yeah, I heard something about a coup in Enbar and a revolt in Ferdiad. 
exposed serious problems that don't directly affect the Alliance. Wanna do a Co-op 3 Hope stream? Yeah. even if word of Fodland's troubles has reached the Alliance, yes. it doesn't follow that they'd start a war. Well, that's assuming they have all the information, which seems unlikely. If all they heard was something vague, like war in the capitals, it might make them more likely to invade. Do you truly think so? Let me go with you. Maybe I can help. Hey, we need every sword hand we can get. Welcome aboard. And you'll have me. The name's Shamir. I'm a knight of Seros. The bulk of the knights were dispatched earlier to track down Tomas. And the rest of us fanned out to the kingdom and imperial capitals. Yeah, I was worried they might have been deployed already. How did we end up with you? The church may not be able to lend you an army, but they won't turn a blind eye. I'm here because I'm the best woman for the job. My arrows will make short work of Almiron Wyvern Riders. So we get to see what the knight's best archer can do with the bow? I won't say no to that. I'll be counting on you as well. It certainly sounds more interesting than staying here and twiddling our thumbs. And besides, who knows what will become of the Academy in the meantime. Sure thing. I'm in. The Almiran's army is practically on her doorstep. I better talk to the others to calm my nerves. That will be happening next time when we stream this game. Well, I hope you all... I hope you all enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow with more of this thing. So yeah, I'm going to stream somebody who is playing a game that I randomly got for the Switch one, one day because I wanted to get Hyrule Warriors, but I didn't have enough money, so I ended up getting this game, but I ended up getting Hyrule Warriors anyway. So yeah. Yes, I am. That person I'm rating does not. So, I'll just. Yeah. With so many ace. So let's read somebody who's still streaming yet. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you with another streamer. I hope you all enjoyed, and see you later, alligators!